Mr Speaker, officers have tragically found evidence of 100 victims. Of these victims, 81 have been formally identified and specially trained family liaison officers have been supporting their families. Every family of a known victim has been contacted. We have been working closely with the police, the Police and Crime Commissioner and the NHS Trust to make sure that those families who have been directly affected receive the 24-7 support that they need, including access to dedicated caseworkers and mental health support and counselling. Even as we look into exactly what happened, as the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, I want to apologise to the friends and families of all the victims for the crimes that were perpetrated in the care of the NHS and for the hurt and suffering they are feeling. Mr Speaker, I know that no apology can undo the pain and suffering caused by these offences. But with such serious issues of dignity and security, we have a duty to look at what happened in detail and make sure it never happens again. So I would like to update the House on the steps that we are taking. First, NHS England has written to all NHS trusts asking for mortuary access and post-mortem activities to be reviewed against current guidance from the Human Tissue Authority. Trusts have also been asked to review their ways of working and to take a number of extra steps, including making sure that they have effective CCTV coverage in place, that entry and access points are controlled with swipe access, and that appropriate DBS checks and risk assessments are being carried out. NHS England will report directly to me with assurances that these measures have been taken so that we can be confident that the highest standards are being followed and that we are maintaining security and upholding the dignity of the deceased.